I've had a lot of trouble here lately hooking our uh, CPAP tees and the nebulized treatments into the CPAPs. I'm going to show you a little trick to get those to work. If you got the patient on CPAP already, all you need is one of the uh, regular nebulizer kits out of the cabinet. Um, you need the T-piece and then the bulb out of it along with the oxygen tubing. So put it together just like you normally would. Um, put your oxygen tubing onto here. Turn this face piece sideways, the part that hooks into it. Disconnect it below the peep valve and this will only fit on one way. So hook it in there. Turn your oxygen onto your nebulizer and make sure you're getting good mist on the uh, patient side of the CPAP tube. This has to be kept mostly straight with this bar right here parallel to the floor um, to keep the medication going. If it gets flipped up like this, you're obviously not going to get uh, too much uh, medication to the patient. So flip this tube around and kind of stick it on the oxygen tank on the back of the patient's head um, and everything should go good. Here recently we've had some patients that we've RSI'd because they had tight lung sound, COPD, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, all the way up to anaphylaxis could be a reason that you've done that. And we need to start giving these patients nebulized treatments. Um, but until now with the equipment we've had, we've really not had a way to do that very well. We could all rig up a, a regular nebulizer and with a, a roll of tape and figure out how to make it work, but it's not going to be pretty. We bought these kits. This one's empty, but um, they'll go on every ambulance. There will be two of them. It's just a Ziploc bag with a couple different things inside of it. Um, the first thing is just a regular nebulizer, just like we have in the cabinets. It's no different. Um, same thing we're used to dealing with all the time. And then um, a T adapter. So we have the regular T that we're used to, to dealing with just on our normal nebulizers. This blue tube is kind of just the extender for the nebulizer. And then out here is a 90 elbow that's uh, going to hook into our ET tube. Um, so this is the main part of it. Um, so the first step to this is we got our tube in. It's confirmed. We got our capnography. All is well there. We're going to hook up our nebulizer just like we always have. Put your mat in. Hook up your oxygen tubing to plug it into the wall. Make sure you get uh, some good flow going there so your medication's coming out like it should. Uh, plug it into the connector just like you would any other T. Take the 90 and plug it into the ET tube on top of the capnography. Your BVM will come out the other side here and plug into this. And all should be well. Now you're bagging down your rubber treatment. The only uh, caveat or however comma is to make sure that this bulb is mostly up and down so that the medicine stays in the bottom of the cup and doesn't uh, come to the top where it won't be, uh, be nebulized. The only other kind of different piece uh, to this T that we're used to dealing with is this cap right here. If you take this cap off, it's just a, a hole cut into it, and it's made to suction down the tube through here. Um, you can use it if you want to. It takes a lot of force to get this off, um, and when you do take it off, it's just kind of loose, so you got to hold on to it. So, you know, and you're also going to have to suction past the little filter line inside of your capnography. So it's better just to connect the tube, disconnect the tube right here at the capnography. Take the capnography with you so we don't get it all gunked up and suction directly down the tube. And when you're done suctioning, just replace it and continue on with your bagging. Mm -hmm. uh. Station 51, engine 27.